The EDMS is Patricia's powerful extended document management system. In this series, we will be looking at this great add-on in more detail. We will focus on items like searching, previewing, versioning, and all the other robust features the solution provides. The DMS page can be found as its own page in any one of your cases. When you click on this page, the content area will update with something we call the case browser. The case browser lists all documents on your case, but provides added functionality above what the document page provides. It's important to realize that the documents you see on the DMS page is an exact reflection of what you would find on the documents page. In fact, both of these areas point to the exact same source of documents. It is simply two different ways of accessing the same set of documents. The interface itself is intuitive and easy to understand. In the area to the left, we have a list of all documents saved to our case. You can click on individual documents to select them. When a document is selected, it will highlight in the color blue. Next, the column information can be sorted by simply clicking on the column heading. Additionally, more columns can be added by clicking on the small eye icon and then selecting the column's tick box you wish to add. This column will then be added to your layout. To the right of the document list area is the preview window, which shows a preview of the selected document. Note that as I change my document selection, the preview area is updated to show that selected document. When previewing emails, you will be able to see the complete chain of correspondence in the preview area. Simply scroll through the email using the scroll bar to see all the content. On Word and PDF documents, you will only see the first page previewed, which is usually sufficient to determine if this is the document you wish to work with. Another great feature is the fact that all attachment files on emails will show up as nested items. Here I have an email with two PDF attachments. When I select the email, the PDF attachments are displayed as nested items. These can be selected, previewed and edited, as you would be able to do with any other document. This is a great time saver, as you do not need to open emails to access the attachments. In some instances, you may wish to view more column information than what the space will allow. You have the option to expand the column area by clicking on the small arrow icon shown here. This will then allocate more real estate to display all column information. You can then add additional columns as required. To return to the condensed view, simply click on the arrow icon again. Quick side note is that you can see the version of the EDMA system by hovering your mouse over the small icon shown here. A pop-up will appear displaying the version. Let's look at the other interface icons. Here we can see the reference of the case with its equivalent checksum part. The checksum is a five digit unique identifying number found at the end of your Patricia reference. This checksum, when enforced, prevents incorrect saving of emails to cases received from other firms using the same EDMS system. Next we have the email documents button. This button provides you with the option to send emails directly from the DMS page. We then have the Upload Files button. This will allow you to upload documents from your local drive into your case. When clicked, you will be presented with the Upload File screen. Here you can choose a file from your local drive by clicking on the Select Files button. Alternatively, you can also upload documents by dragging and dropping documents into the area shown here. This includes dragging and dropping multiple files in one action. The last item here is the document category dropdown that assigns a document category. It's important to first select the category before adding your documents. We then have the search button which allows for full text searching across your entire document repository. 
When clicked, the search window will appear. Here you can enter a keyword to search on and the date period that this search will be limited to. Then choose what type of document needs to be considered for the search. The options are email, documents and PDF. Lastly, you need to define the search scope. Will this search be limited to the current case, the family of cases or the entire document repository? I will search on keyword EDMS in my current case. Once you click search, your results will open in a separate web browser window. The results here are displayed in the standard case browser window and all is similar in terms of sorting and previewing documents. The difference though is that you can now see the actual reference of the case where this document resides. Next we have the refresh button and this simply refreshes the DMS page. We then have the filter button which allows us to quickly filter on keywords found in our case documents. This is great if you have a keyword in mind but the document list on the case is quite large. As an example I can click on the filter button type in my keyword and press enter. This will then filter my documents to only those documents that contain that keyword. To reset the filter, click on the small X icon shown here. Lastly, we have the list slash tree view. Move your mouse over the icon shown here and then select the layout you desire. You can choose between a list view or a tree view. The current layout is list view, so let's select the tree view. The tree view gives you a tree-like structure of your documents grouped by their document category. You can expand and collapse categories as needed by clicking on the small plus and minus icons shown here.